happened, Rich? Well, we filled the uh, uh, areas that you see here. You're stepping something that's going to be slippery with uh, uh, the epoxy. I'm actually a little bit high from breathing the vapors right now. <laughs> but we had a few leaks, as you can see, on the floor. But I was able to, uh, to stop them from leaking. Um, it looks like the uh, material has done its job, and that is to level off, uh, completely level off the side that didn't appear that it was going to level very easily, but it looks like it has. Undoubtedly, there'll be some areas that require a little attention after we take the, uh, the lip off uh, all the way around. But uh, all in all, it looks like it was a successful test, even if we have to pour a little bit more. Um, so as long as uh, uh, gravity continues to exist for the next day or so and this hardens flat, then we'll be in good shape. We pushed it under the uh, pallet uh, shelf here to try to keep dust off it, and that appears to be doing its job. Um, you can see the mess on the floor <laughs> if you pan around it a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, this, this was actually here before I got here. It just looks like I just spilled it. <clears throat> Anyhow, that's, uh, that's where it is. It looks like it's nice and flat and level. And that's what I was attempting to, uh, to get. So what's today's uh, moral of the story? Uh, the moral of the story is that it probably would have been a good idea for me to seal these edges better. But my concern was that I didn't want to try to seal a natural radius in the edges uh, and truncate that, that uh, uh, radius by, by coming in at too sharp an angle. So what I'll end up doing is undoubtedly sanding a little bit around the edges when I'm finished. And I, and I think it's still going to turn out pretty well. All right. We'll see. We'll see in here a little bit what it looks like when he pulls all this stuff apart. Yeah, that won't happen until tomorrow. All right.